Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. I am comedy musician and comedy music fan, Insane Ian, and this week we are reacting to D&D &D by the Library Bards. Now, full disclosure, again, the Library Bards are friends of mine. Uh, Bonnie Gordon and Xander Genere, they are uh, a comedy music duo who are friends of mine through the comedy music community. Uh, this is their most recent music video that they did uh, through their, uh, I believe, the Kickstarter funding for their most recent album, Bombarded, uh, emphasis on the bard. And uh, I, think, I think they got the funding for this video from that Kickstarter, or it could have been from their Patreon. They're all over the internet, uh, and they <clears throat> literally do everything on the internet. Outside of the Library Bards, they are very popular uh, tabletop gaming players uh, doing various and sundry other tabletop things, L.A. by night, and... Uh, they're, they're, they're in a lot of things. I can't even keep track of all the stuff they do. They do voiceover work. Uh, Bonnie and Xander both do voiceover work for games. Uh, they've been on TV shows. They are everywhere. They're very popular. Uh, and if you haven't heard of them till now, is it tough to get to work every day when you have to push the boulder out from in front of your cave? I'm just curious about that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to take a look at their new song. Uh, their music video for D and D. It's a parody of TNT by ACDC, and uh, I will say before we get into this, this is not the first parody of TNT to be called D and D. Uh, there's a Baltimore group called the Boogie Knights. They've been around for years, and I believe a hidden track on their 2004 album was a parody of TNT called D&D, &D, but that was more... It wasn't as favorable a, a, a song about D&D, &D, kind of calling the people who, who play it losers and nerds, although admittedly the people who were singing the song, they're nerds. They, they play comedy music at conventions. Then they dress in Ren Faire outfits. We're all nerds. We all do it. Comedy music and nerd culture kind of crisscross a lot. Uh, so this one is a little bit more favorable, showing the, the love for D&D, &D, and especially the bards have a lot of love for it because they're bards, and they do a lot of D&D-style games outside of being bards. So anyway, without any further ado, getting that out of the way, letting you know that, yes, I do know that there's another song that exists. Uh, this is just another take on it. Coming music uh, tends to have a lot of similar subjects and sometimes similar parodies. Uh, but they all have different takes. Some of them are not immediately trying to rip off the other one. I'm fairly certain the Bards had not heard the Boogie Nights version, mostly because Boogie Nights, they play a lot on the East Coast, but once their CDs are gone, they're gone. They don't keep the songs online for anything. Uh, they tend to make very few copies of their albums as it is. So if you have that album, more power to you. That's awesome, but it's kind of a collector's item because they don't make that many. Anyway, into this, The Bards. Their normal intro. <laughs> they definitely put a big budget in this one. And I will say before we get into it, uh, the chant in the Boogie Nights version is orcs. And already it's different. He's rolling. Little know about that line? Yes. Dice bags, Crown Royal. I made the same joke in my D&D song. I wrote a song that was a parody of uh, Run This Town by Jay-Z and Rihanna and Kanye West. Uh, it was me and my then wife, the Stacy, and Devo Spice playing Run This Game about a D&D &D game gone wrong when the, D when the DM doesn't show up. 
And then Devo Splice doing the uh, Kanye West role comes in as my older brother Tom's there to wreck the game and makes fun of me thinking that Crown Royal made dice bags. Um, uh, I wrote all the lines for, for his verse and for mine, and uh, it was one of the jokes that I used in that. And again, I don't think they're stealing a line, it's just it's a very popular thing to say about this subject. I've used it, they've used it, it's similar. Great minds think alike, basically. Also, the music backing on this is awesome. Well, not against, uh, not against game, video gamers, which they also are. I believe that's uh, Erica Ishii, who's uh, one of the friends of the Bards and is in a lot of the gaming stuff that they do. I think he's in LA by night. Uh, and, uh, you know, is also on a guest on Leighton Night with Leighton and Brian Wecht from uh, Game Grumps uh, and all of the associated things there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, obviously they have a lot of their friends in there. There's a lot of people in this. There's a lot of extras and, and different actors in this. It's a kind of a large cast for this music video. And also the sets are great. This is a great thing. Uh, it's a big tavern thing and everybody's LARPing. That's a phrase that I just said. We. I dig it a lot. Not, not ale, Mountain Dew. Like the the costumes are great. And they're they're playing the bards on the bar. They're 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 entertaining the crowd as the bards, but they're the library bards. This is one of their parodies. This is great. That's a great freeze frame. <laughs> Both of them wide mouthed. Sorry guys. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know this is this is a this is a fun song. I, I kind of wish there was more funny elements to the video, not just the the lyrics in the song. But it's still, it's a great video, it's an amazing video in, the, in that they've got a lot of cool elements about what they're singing in it. It's really great. Uh, and also like that they're playing the entertainers in the bar, in the tavern, in what they're talking about. And it's more of a celebration of D&D &D rather than the knock against nerds that the, the Boogie Nights version is. I like that a lot. And we'll talk about what's coming up in a minute. I've heard the song, so the video is new to me, but I've heard the song. You stand before a cavern. The pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon walls. Oh, I want to cast a spell. I want to cast magic missile. Why are you casting magic missile? There's nothing to attack here. I want to attack the darkness. But you're not there. You're yeah, outside. You're at the tavern. The tavern? All of this is a reference to the Dead Alewives sketch about D&D. &D. Dead Alewives uh, had uh, Dan, Har Dan Harmon and Rob Schraub. Dan Harmon, of course, from Community. Rob Schraub from billions of things, mostly uh, that I can think of. Uh, Monster House and, uh, of course, Scud, the disposable assassin. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Comedy Greats doing a, a comedy sketch. They're referencing that. This is all dialogue from that Dead Alewives sketch. It's something that was heard on the Dr. Demento show many times. 
uh, comedy music paying respect to comedy sketches that were heard on a comedy music program, basically. Uh, so they are they are paying homage to that. Roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk. Fine, you're drunk. <laughs> I, I did the magic missile thing in my song too, so it was great. Some cool effects. Oh, the arrow. The party is surrounded by ogres. Nineteen. That's not bad. I wonder how many takes it took them to roll an actual nineteen. <laughs> that was great. And that's from their album Bombarded, coming out. Or actually, it's out now. Why did I say coming out? It's out. I listened to it in the car when I was driving around. It's a great album. Okay, sorry for the jump there. Camera ran out of space. Uh, oops, but luckily it happened right at the end when I was going to give my summary. Uh, anyway, it's a great video. Uh, lots of great visuals, really cool effects in there. Um, obviously just a great song. Uh, I really love what the Bards do. They have great harmonies. Uh, they make every song a duet by splitting up the parts evenly between the two of them. Uh, and they also have really great stage presence for their music videos. They're both performers, so they know how to perform in a music video. That said, uh, I have the same not really problem, but I have the same issue with this video that I had with their video for Finn and Poe. Lots of great visuals, not a lot of gags in the video. Uh, I, I kind of wish there was more visual gags to help complement the song rather than just be a vehicle to present the song other than just listening to the song. Uh, and I, I, I kind of see the music videos, especially comedy music videos, as an extension, as a, a, a way to fit more jokes in that you couldn't do lyrically. Uh, I think it's a great video. I love what they do. It's a great song. It's a, it's a, a really well put together video, but me personally, I would have liked more gags in it. Not to say that there aren't gags. There's some great gags. Again, the expressions that Bonnie and Xander have, the crowd reacting to them, as well as reacting to the game that's going on with the Dead Ale Wives uh, commentary going on through the, through the song. It's a lot of great stuff, but I, I feel like there could have been more, uh, and and that's something I would I really want to see in in their music videos. Uh, but you know, it, your mileage may vary. This is just one comedy musician and one comedy music fan's take on that. That's my reaction. That's my first impression. That's what these videos are. Uh, if you want to check out the video for yourself, please check out the link in the description below. Uh, if you want to check out more of the Bard stuff, please absolutely subscribe to their channel. They are awesome. Uh, check them out on Spotify, download their songs on Bandcamp, all that good stuff. They're available on the Funny Music Project as well with me. Uh, and also, uh, thanks for checking out my video. If you like what I do, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I have a Patreon, of course I do, because of course I do. Uh, it's the internet and uh, people make stuff and people help them make stuff. That's what Patreon is. Yeah, I explained it for people who knew that. Anyway, I got more of these coming. If you like this stuff, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye! Ian's gonna be the DM, I'm the dungeon master. Gonna play all weekend, gotta let the geeks in. They snack everything. Checks, mix, cheese, nips, all snacks, everything. Gonna find the treasure chest, riding on an epic quest. Got my lucky D6 if you're ready, roll initiative. Boosting my charisma, I'll explain later. But for now...